Hello everyone, it's Daz, and this week's discussion is about the 27 Club Conspiracy Theory. We'll get into it after a message from our sponsor. If you're worried about the future, I don't blame you. Millions of Americans are quietly stocking up on emergency food, should you? Ask yourself, do you currently have enough food on hand to get you through the next month? If not, you should strongly consider getting a four-week emergency food kit from My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and their mission is your survival. They've served millions of American families, and they'd be honored to serve you too. Right now, you can save $50 off their four-week emergency food kit, which comes with breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks. This food gives you the minimum requirement of 2,000 calories per day, and the special packaging keeps it fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage. You can't go wrong. Head on over to preparewithdaz.com and claim your four-week emergency food kit at this special price. You'll save $50 per kit if you act now. That's preparewithdaz.com. 27 years old, the age I turned yesterday, <laughs> and also the age that has a lot of mystery surrounding it for musicians. The 27 Club remains one of the most unsettling and cryptic groups in music history. It refers to a group of artists who all passed away at the dire young age of 27. Amy Winehouse, Kurt Cobain, Janis Joplin. Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison. The list unfortunately goes on. It's such a troubling coincidence that when fans started to sense a trend, they in turn dubbed the collective the 27 Club. The term became widely known after Cobain's death in 1994. Before that, only eagle-eyed rock music fans realized the pattern. Notably, when Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, Brian Jones, and Jimi Hendrix all died between the years of 1969 and 1971. The significance of the club resurfaced when Amy Winehouse passed away in 2011. Interestingly enough, statistical research shows that 27 Club is a myth. Celebrities aren't more likely to die at the age of 27. Only 1.3% of musicians from 1950 to 2010 died at the age of 27. The most common age for a musician to pass away is 56, with 2.3% of all musicians joining the 56 Club. Moreover, there are renowned celebrities in both the unspecified 26 and 28 Clubs. Mac Miller, Sharon Tate, Otis Redding, Nick Drake all died at 26. Heath Ledger, Avacy, and Big Pun died at 28. Yet there's no collective for these people, no fans there to connect all the dots. So what's caused fanatic obsession with the 27 Club? And is there anything to connect its members besides bizarre coincidences? We'll start with Kurt Cobain. Before Kurt Cobain put a bullet to his head, he penned the now infamous lyric from Neil Young's song, Hey, Hey, My, My. In the suicide note, he wrote, It's better to burn out than to fade away. After Cobain took his life in 1994, music would never be the same. The death of the grunge icon was one of the most discussed events of the decade. It also fueled many conspiracy theories, many of which surrounded the 27 Club. Following Cobain's death, his mother, Wendy O'Connor, famously said, Now he's gone and joined that stupid club. I told him not to join that stupid club. Several weeks later, Rolling Stone would later confirm she was referencing the 27 Club. Cobain's family had a long history of mental illness, including two great-uncles and a great-grandmother who all committed suicide. However, the words of Cobain's mother dominated news headlines and created a mythos around the 27 Club. Some fans began to speculate that Cobain entered the club intentionally, that he wanted to be a martyr for the next generation of musicians. Others believed he was killed. Even today, the Seattle Police Department gets requests from fans and skeptics to reopen the case. Many, however, are disgusted with the conspiracies developed over Cobain's death. Charles R. Cross, author of Heavier Than Heaven, a biography of Kurt Cobain, is one such critic. I've seen some people who think that these deaths are intentionally tied, like Kurt Cobain intentionally killed himself at, at this age, simply to be in that club, says Cross. You know he suffered from depression, drug addiction, and numerous other issues. He tried to kill himself at 17, 25, 26 as well, so it's not like he did it just to join a club. One thing is for certain, Cobain's untimely death became the linchpin of the 27 Club. Without him, the club likely wouldn't cause the obsession it does today. Notable Members of the 27 Club Here are the 13 most notable members of the 27 Club in order from their time of death. Rest in peace to these legends whose lives are tragically cut short. Robert Johnson, one of the founding musicians of blues and rock and roll. 
He's famous for a folk legend where he did a deal with the devil. Many of his songs include singing about hellhounds and other satanic themes. He died in August of 1938. Brian Jones, the original founder and leader of the Rolling Stones, he was thrown out of the group by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards as they took the music in new direction. Less than a month later, in July of 1969, he was found at the bottom of a swimming pool. His death still remains a mystery. Alan Wilson, guitarist of the psychedelic blues rock band Canned Heat. In 1969, Wilson overdosed on barbiturates. His cause of death was determined to be accidental, but some members of Canned Heat believe it was a suicide. Jimi Hendrix. During a brief four-year career, Jimi Hendrix changed music forever. Before Hendrix died, he took some sleeping pills called Vesperax. Half a tablet can put a man to sleep for eight hours. Hendrix swallowed nine. He died after a warm and cool night on September 18th of 1970. Janis Joplin. The last song Joplin sang before her death was A Woman Left Lonely. Later that night, she died of a heroin overdose on October 4th of 1970. Less than a year later, her final album, Pearl, was released and shot straight to the top of the Billboard charts. Jim Morrison, the lead singer of The Doors, was an icon for the 1960s youth counterculture. His death is a mystery filled by conspiracy theories. However, the common consensus is that he died of a massive heroin overdose on July 3rd of 1971. Morrison's death is another critical moment where fans began to postulate the ideal of a 27 club. Ron Pigpen McKernan, one of the founding members of the bluegrass rock group The Grateful Dead, he died on March 8th of 1973 from gastrointestinal bleeding before complications from alcoholism and a rare autoimmune disorder called congenital bilary cirrhosis. McKernan had been dead up to two days when the landlady found him, Pete Ham, The lead vocalist for the 1970s rock band Badfinger, the group signed with the Beatles' Apple label in the 1960s. Badfinger grew in popularity but barely made a dime off the music due to a shady record deal. Consequently, Ham fell into depression. Three days before his 28th birthday on April 24th of 1975, he met with his bandmate Tom Evans in a pub near his home in England. He told Evans, don't worry, I know a way out. Ham hung himself later that night in his garage. Seven years later, Evans would also hang himself. Chris Bell. He, along with Alex Chilton, fronted the power pop band Big Star. While Big Star saw success and Bell's contributions would go on to inspire Beck, R.E.M., and the Pixies, the group became a constant target for critics. The pressure added to Bell's clinical depression and drug addictions. Later, he had to work with his family. He had to work at his family's restaurants after failed attempts to relaunch his career. In December of 1978, Bell crashed his car into a pole while coming home from a band rehearsal. He died instantly. Jean Michael Bat, a uh, pop culture and art world celebrity icon, he spent the 70s painting graffiti around the Soho area of New York City. Later, he would collaborate on artwork with Andy Warhol. In 1988, he died of a heroin overdose in Manhattan Art Studio. Basque claimed to be shooting up 100 bags of heroin a day. Kurt Cobain. He was found dead in Seattle, in his Seattle home on April 8, 1994. Cobain died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Amy Winehouse. If there is a motif of the 27 Club, culminated with Winehouse's death in 2011. She was responsible for the best-selling British album of the 21st century, Back to Black. In 2006, however, much like Kurt Cobain and Jimi Hendrix, Winehouse couldn't escape her image. Moreover, the national media turned her life into, into a lowbrow tmc style pornography. In July 2011, she died of alcohol poisoning in her London home. Anton Yelchin. From 2011 to, to 2015, Yelchin appeared in 18 films. He's most famous for his role as Chekhov in the wildly popular Star Trek reboots. He died in a freak accident when his own car pinned him against a brick wall. Yelchin is the most recent member of the 27 Club. Well, there you have it, the mystery of the 27 Club. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on these celebrities that have died. Again, the most common age is actually 56. However, it's still strange so many artists have passed away. There won't be a live stream tomorrow night because I am on vacation. I'll talk to you guys in next Wednesday's video. I hope you enjoy your weekend and the rest of the month. God bless.